YouTube, it's Shani here from Gummy Clouds 2, and today I'm going to show you guys how to add font to your own background or how to add words to your wallpaper. So let's get started. Step 1. Open up your browser. I'm using Google. You can use whatever. Once you've opened your browser, you want to go to Google Images to find your image for your wallpaper. Now you want to search up the picture you're looking for. Hmm, should I do this one? I'm not sure. I think I'll choose this one. All I did was search up Galaxy Wallpaper. What you're going to do is right click and save your image. I'm trying to show you the download in my left hand corner. That's my Galaxy Wallpaper. You want to open it. Once you've opened it, open your Galaxy Wallpaper with paint or whatever wallpaper you chose. As you can see, it's very small, so let's make it the perfect size. That one there that I chose was way too small, so I'm choosing a new one. Now it's in perfect shape. If yours is too small, I'm going to show you what to do. Here on my regular screen, you can see that there's a periwinkle outline. You can do that. I just used the huge paint bucket. To do that, as you can see, there's like a little white square on my... Uh, right hand side sorry about that and you are going to drag that so i've dragged it and that's how it looks like once you're satisfied with it we're going to start to add the text or font or words to your background up here you can see the a icon click on the a icon and pick the color you're satisfied with once you're done with that drag your text anywhere along your background this should show up now you're just going to pick the kind of text size you want and what kind of text you want. Right now it's at Comic Sans MX. I'm going to be changing that. And the color I am using is turquoise. It may not look like a turquoise, but if you scroll your mouse over it, it says turquoise. And my voice is so weird right now. So I chose Tree Bucket MX size 72, and I will show you why. My size is huge. But you can also choose bold, italic, underlined, and crossed. As you can see, I will show you. Beside your size, you see four different squares of thing. The first one is for boldness. The second one is for italic, which means slanted. The U means underlined. And the last one means there's a line that goes across, I believe. So once you are done with that, you just want to exit it and save it. So just click the X icon and then go into your documents, into your pictures, and you should find it. If it's not in your pictures, look in your documents. If it's not in your documents, look in your downloads. I found mine in the downloads. Most people will find it there, but if it's not there, again, try the other ones that I told you. And if it's not there, you may have not saved it. Or you missed click it and click don't save but it doesn't really matter to me that much because I can always restart. As you can see, I've opened it and it says the words that I wanted it to say. So I'm really happy about that. Right click it and set it as your desktop background and I will show you that when it's completed. Okay guys, this is how it's set and it's so cool. I never had a background like this and I love it. So. It looks amazing, and if you guys want a tour of my desktop, that should be uploaded, I think. But I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!